Okay, there we go. I turned it down a little bit. Oh. Okay, here we are. So there's no way anyone can say that this isn't a great theme song. It is dreamy, yeah. Dreamy theme song. Ah, uh, so, um, uh, gallery. Oh, that was probably the ones we've played some, okay. Right, so you ready, Missa? some water got me some tea steeping new game i'm feeling a lot better now dad tip number three by quantity not quality okay so it's, i don't know dad dad wake up oh what do you think I'm gonna be dead I don't to, know. Pretend to be dead. Let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Oh. I finally oh, opened my eyes and set up Lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Yikes, Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Dad tip 20, keep your word. <laughs> yeah. Build that dad. Oh, my lord. Oh, good. That is not a dad I want right there. But he's one punch man. Okay, well, oh, it is one punch man, except hairier. Okay, so, before we, before we uh, start this this process, what kind of dad do we want? You know, like... Do we want, like, okay, there's three dad types here. We got, like, fit dad here, we got dad bod dad, and we got scrawny dad. Let's do fit dad. Fit dad. Now, we gotta be, we gotta be a dad. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of the game. But we can be either a dad, a male dad, or a trans male dad. Interesting. Yeah. Personally, because I'm a male, I'd rather be a male dad. Just to identify. Okay. Would you rather be the other? No, it's fine. You can if you like. Maybe some other time. Okay. Yeah. It, when Jack originally played this, uh -huh. he just uh, he just thought it was a crop top. Ah. Which I would have thought too, but up here it does say binder. Right. So it's like, apparently it's supposed to be like trans it's like like this game is like re super inclusive and stuff it's great it is great but i wouldn't have known that right and, except for the fact that he made that mistake and talked about it so yeah okay so oh my goodness you can get real dark in this well what do we want to do albino What do you want to do here? Let's be the blackest black daddy. You want to be a black daddy? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's fix that hair. Yeah, the hair's going to need messing with. Wait. Oh, you can have the hairy body or not. Oh. No, leave the body hair. Okay. Heads. It's like face shape. Ooh. Chiseled. I suspect that's the point. I don't know what he's talking about. Shadow? Oh! Yeah. Super chiseled jawline with a five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Man bun. Oh my word. Right, please tell me you're not gonna... Super hey look, it's a Goku bun. haircut. Goku? We could be Goku. Black Goku. You know what we can also do? I believe it's an option. 
Dan- be Danny Sexbang? You could be Danny Sexbang. I yeah. think that's not quite Danny Hair. That is. That's, cl- that's not really Danny Hair, no. It's totally Danny Hair. No, that's not. Dan sometimes does that. Uh, but, eh, I think that's, think that's Danny Hair. Are we making Black Danny? And I think that, yeah, that's Aaron Hair. Yeah. And no, we're not, I mean, we could make Black Danny. <laughs> In reference to the binder thing. That's Pink the point. hair or bust. Wait, what's the point? The point is not noticing what it is? Maybe. I don't know. I think uh, it was... I don't think you... Was it being inclusive? I think, it, well, inclusivity, yeah, inclusivity was definitely the point. Right. I don't think they meant for people to accidentally choose it. Yeah. Uh, right, well... Pink hair or bust. Pink what? Pink hair or bust. Why pink hair? Because... So weird, especially on a, on a black guy. It's good though. <laughs> no, pink. Why pink? Do it. It looks dumb. No, it doesn't. Why would you want pink? You could do pink cornrows. Because then, then birds are gonna fly down and eat your head every chance they get. Cotton candy hair. The point. Was that you can't tell there's a difference. Huh? A difference between what? Between the ma- the man body and the trans man body? Yeah. Oh, did I say that did I say something like that? Uh I don't think I did. <laughs> I think oh, oh, I know what I said. I was saying that Jack didn't t- couldn't tell the difference. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, he just thought it was a crop top. Right. Like. Yeah. 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 Of course, he didn't tell the difference. He just he just you know he thought it was a he thought it was a crop top. Yeah. He just wanted to have the crop top. Oh, you, know? you could totally do pink poof. Pink poof. Pink yeah. poof. Have cotton handy head. Yeah. Cotton candy Goku. Wet white. <laughs> No. I mean, I kind of want to be Super Saiyan. No. Super Saiyan dad. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, Watson B's numbers. Yeah. 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 I think wasps and bees would like this more. They could build a hive. Yeah, so make it pink. But, but if it's a hive, then it's going to be like... Gray. I guess, yeah. Or like that. I guess. But it should be pink. <laughs> okay, fine. Pink you... afro. There's an not? option to make his brows pink, too. So, like... Oh, wait, what? There was a... No, not there. Down... Right under mouths. Grouse. Oh, okay. That's that makes it a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotta yes. have. We gotta yes, have super bitch. eyebrows. Yeah. Yes, queen. Yeah. Is that Oops. the hair we want? Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Fine. Man. Eyes. Now see the, the the crazy anime eyes. Yeah. I I can't. Yes. No. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Ah. <laughs> mm. Ooh, sultry. Squinty. Oh, intense. <laughs> Let me try. It's weird. Yeah, those aren't bad, right? I like the sultry ones better. Uh, these? Yeah. No. Wait. These, no. Those ones. These ones. These yeah. were sultry, yeah. Okay, the news. That, there's that. Eh. Oh, wait a minute. That's <laughs> totally the Danny nose. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, the button nose. Ooh, pointy nose. Kind of like the button nose. Most ridiculous look. And anyone who rocks it is silly. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one. Uh, that's ridiculous. See, uh, yeah, I said it was ridiculous too, but she insisted on the pink hair, and I blame one person for that, Gandhi. 
I don't know why. It's because he didn't have hair. I don't know why. Don't ask for logic here. Perfect! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, first of all... The Caucasian lips don't work here. Okay, that's just weird. You've, tur you've turned him into um, da uh, Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, a little bit. Except you know, honestly, Black Ziggy Stardust. with that hair, it, it's not as outlandish. Yeah. It wasn't a complaint, it was a statement of fact. Well, yes, okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Can't argue with that. Uh, okay, that one's just a no. That's a creeper look right there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one's not bad. That's, that's kind of normal. Sad face. That's a little bit of an angry looking. It's a little, meh. Kind of like this one. What do you think? It's got the model look going Ooh. on. Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking about it. This one's a little too... <laughs> that one's fantastic. It's a little too, uh, what's the word? Uh, attitude. Too much attitude going on there. There's no such thing as too much attitude. So, okay, because of the dark skin, I can't see the line there, so that, that's a useless mouth. Your you know? face is a useless mouth. It's, just, it's too dark. Like, I can't I can't see it. So we need lips. We definitely need lips. That's just, that's silly. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. What do you think? This one's not bad, and this one's not bad. I Those like the that two one I... better. This one better? Yeah. Okay. And you, do you really want the, uh, the blue? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just checking. We already got that. Facial hair. Oh my god. Okay. Make it pink. Well, obviously, this is this is a wharf stash. Actually, when Markiplier did it, he did that. Of course he did. Of, because, of course, he had to. Yeah. Yeah. A little fuzz. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay, I almost want to... Do, do the, the double one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I kind of like just the, the, the round one better. Okay. Actually... Why? Match the lips. Oh. His lips are blue, though. He's Cotton Candy Randy. Okay. That's totally, I'm um, ripping that off from GMM, but... There's no other... There's no other name I can think of that rhymes with Randy. Mandy? No. Yeah, but, um, like, a guy name. Dandy. Cotton Candy Dandy? Yeah. Gandy. <laughs> okay. We're just. I know, right? <laughs> These are just. Why don't they have cat eye lenses? That is a good question. Okay, you know, these seem to fit a little bit. Apparently, Mandy is a guy Black, name. Yellow. Mandy is a guy name? There's a man. I mean, I got, I've, I've known a girl named Kyle, so I mean, I guess it's. And a boy named Sue. And a boy named Sue. That, that was a song. That was a real thing. <laughs> you don't know that. Mandy can be a guy name? Okay, whatever. Well, I guess we can do Mandy then. Cotton, Cotton Candy, Candy Mandy. Mandy. <laughs> because Cotton Candy Randy is copyrighted by GMM. I don't think it really is, but... I, they did it. They did it first. I'm, well, I'm still ripping it off, but you know. <laughs> piercings. All of the piercings. Uh, you can only, you only pick one. <gasps> Pierce his nose! Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, we could do that. Straight through the beard. <laughs> and, oh, that's ear, earring. See that? I don't know that that's a. It's another one of those things where I'm like, do guys get that piercing? Yeah, some do. Like, I've seen a, it. It's a stud. I've seen people with rings uh -huh. like that. It's such a feminine piercing. But I guess this guy is not exactly the masculine man, man here. No, he's the most masculine man. Yeah, I just. He is very con uh, confident in his man sexuality. I suppose. In his manliness. He's confident in something. <laughs> Gender names are BS. I don't know if I agree with that at all. <sighs> I don't know. I don't want to get a, get into a gender argument. Yeah. Most of these piercings just don't work because... <laughs> because of hair. Because of his hair. What about that? The eyebrow one? Or we could just do none. No, I wanted its nose pierced. I wanted, you really want the yes! nose one? Yes! <sighs> okay, well, I'll make it with silver at least there. Okay. Now, clothing. Wow, we have options. Okay, uh... 
I like the one with the I stars. I mean, we could just go straight <gasps> up. <laughs> but I but that's a little bit on the nose. Yeah. Uh, this is the one I think Jack did. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I like the stars. I think this is the one Mark did. I'm just saying it makes me kind of want to avoid those just because I've already seen sure. a playthrough with somebody who did that. Oh my god. <laughs> Having him wear a suit would be the most amazing. That fits his hair. Yep. I think we found a winner. Oh my god, that is amazing. Why does he keep saying that? Un, 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 like, without anyone asking. I, like I said, I don't... <clears throat> I don't want to get into a gender topic. Yeah. Why? I like I, the purple. I'm just playing with it. Okay. I was just seeing what looked good. See, I, having it match just seems a little too matchy-matchy. Like, slight difference would be a little nice to kind of make it more interesting. Oops, not that one. That no, one. this isn't the game. We we should we should move on. You know, actually, I, I don't know. I I love this part of games. Okay. Character creation is one of my favorite parts. Yeah, I mean, when I'm playing The Sims, I'm. They all, should. Yeah, I'm. My, it's the part that takes me the longest. They should friggin' make a game that's all character creation. Second Life. No, that's all like role playing stuff. Not all of it. There's a whole bunch of character creation. No, I know that. It's, like it's, I'm constantly evolving my avatar. I know that. But it's not all character creation. Well, sure. I mean, they should make a game where the whole point is to make different dudes, and as you're doing it, you unlock more and more of the stuff you can customize them mm. with. Maybe things adjust stats or something. You're trying to make somebody with certain stats. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That was that would be such a cool cool concept. Hero City. Of See. I wanted to play City of Heroes, but it was so expensive. I think it was like a subscription service. Uh, no, so, I don't. I don't think so. I think you paid for it once, and then it, you had. Was it? it? I think so. My ex had it, and I remember that it was. Really enjoyed it. It was more money than I was willing to spend on it. Sure. Maybe it was just that it was a full, full price game yeah. that I didn't, wasn't as excited about as. I don't AAA really remember. It was. Well, like, anyway, it was a decade ago. I think we have our dude. I just want to check one thing. It did have a it, it did Oops. have a really fantastic um, character creation though. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. More of a mocha. Yeah, it was subscription. Okay. That's why I didn't want to play it because I don't like those. But I didn't at the time. Right. I, I it was like a ripoff, like in my in my opinion mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, now it's become more of a common thing, and the prices have kind of stabilized a little. Because at the time it was like a lot per month mm -hmm. um yeah yeah it looked like a really fun game i still want to play a D, D style like rpg game yeah uh, of superheroes like i really want to do that but yeah. I, I haven't found a good system for it city of uh city of heroes was really good yeah well i'm talking about like a tabletop rpg oh right oh yeah not just that kind of like a tabletop rpg okay. role-playing game like a you know like like D, &D. yeah but for superheroes I've, I've heard of a couple like there's some mastermind mutants and masterminds and there was another one that I heard about, but in any case, looking good, Daddy. Ready mm -hmm. to go? Yeah. Going. Name that. Perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's man, deep. No. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. One T, I guess. Wait, Candy Dandy. Sure. Nah, no. It hurts. Spell. Yeah, it, it's not. I don't like it. It's it's too wrong. Mm-hmm. Oop, Jesus. <laughs> Apostrophe. Cotton. But see, that's still another character, though. If I could put an apostrophe, I could put the other O. Got oh. candy, dandy. Okay. That yeah, works. Yeah. Because I just remembered, that's their last name. You know. Yeah. So that's also going to be a man. His daughter's last name. Mm-hmm. Having that be uh, Mandy. 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 <laughs> yeah. See, exactly. Her name's Amanda. Yeah. So I don't want to make her Mandy Mandy. So, Mandy Dandy. Still silly. But it's at least not as silly. Yeah. Also, I'll do the I'll do 
the Amanda voices and like I don't know two other characters I guess yeah sure whatever we'll, we'll figure it and out and you voice him Cotton oh you know what mm-hmm is that what you meant yeah oh you weren't I'm oh, sorry you weren't super clear about that I know I'm I, sorry it's fine I just it, it, it works that totally works yeah but I like it also I like his, <clears throat> his his profile picture over there this here yeah yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good <laughs> okay uh be that dad be that dad be Na that dad. Nice to meet you. I'm Cotton Candy. <laughs> really? Hmm. Sounds tasty. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait. Straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and photo albums. Whoa! I haven't seen these in years! I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile, and we begin looking through it. That's, That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so... I kind of want to do this, because I like the idea of him moving to this new town and kind of falling for these other dads. Uh -huh. After being, you know, like... After being oh, a female relationship? After having a failed hetero relationship? Yeah, you see, I kind of like that idea. Okay. Um, like him kind of discovering that rather than just finding a new guy. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's a more interesting thing. Okay. All right. That's my that's my thought there. The only way your mother and I get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. Oh. That's right. Yeah. I won't stop crying until I'm cool. That's right. <laughs> but whatever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween, you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. He has an echo. I have an echo again. Maybe I'm too maybe I'm oh, sitting too close to That's you. why. Yeah, Missa leaned closer to me and I'm I was getting picked up on her mic a little bit. Missa getting close to me. You should know How better. How dare than I? How dare you. Okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's gone now. If not, you know, let me know. Ah, uh, dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. I mean, why not? Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside a dragon's mouth was the realization of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> right, yep. Definitely repressed that memory. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't stand so close to me. <laughs> See... What you didn't, because this is only audio, <laughs> you didn't realize I said that right when she drank some tea. <laughs> we almost painted the carpet with it. And she still hasn't swallowed it. <laughs> yep. There it goes. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, boy. And this was... And this was you in your horse phase. <laughs> Dad! I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Oh no. I don't think that was this. Amanda lunges for the photo and quickly snatches it away, holding it above her head. I quickly snatch it away and hold it above my head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is an important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. <laughs> The, the Scommunist Manifesto was the had a chance back in the day. Wow. <laughs> Scommunist. It took me a second to realize what that... Okay. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Dad. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Poops her pants during a sleepover. <laughs> Fired a flaming tenant. Oh, wow, that's... Meh. These are all not good things. What do you think? Tried to steal people's pets. Yeah. Ugh. No, Dad, that was Emma S. Oh. She moved to Kentucky three years ago. I miss her. Oh. I also miss my hamster. <laughs> Sir Hemmington the Brave. <laughs> I 
I'm noticing a trend here. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. I just noticed she really likes yellowhead stuff. Mm -hmm. That's just a thing. Okay. Yeah. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy to tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Uh. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. Finally decide to break the silence. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. We were, we were a man and woman, so I guess it, this is possible. Was I born or adopted? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just born. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender, but of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out and didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her, and she says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. <laughs> I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Huh. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The, van the wa moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Man, and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window, pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. <laughs> hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> And there will be plenty of more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh, that's right. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It'll, it will forever hold a place in my heart. It stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving band begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. Fuck this place, we're moving somewhere new! So... So what? So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat to do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Multiple places. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor splice that you can, yes, catch a wink. Floor splice? What a deal. I mean, if, if sleep weren't for the week... You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pop, I, Pops. I keep it real. But I get it from you! Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And, I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're, not, you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? <sighs> not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do, do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbor seem, neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. In my last year, of, I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust! Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh. But I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes also, that are blocking are the living room. I still have to install a washer and dryer, and we need to go grocery hmm. shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. 
Okay, okay. You're right. We'll get some work done and check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. Wow, The lawn like... is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. What? This act will be remembered, yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, it's like it's like we never moved. Oh, is this the old plan? No, it's just we didn't we we didn't move. Oh, yeah. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign oh. is no Hiya! more. Yeah, not hiya. <laughs> nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. Oof. So proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Ah. An ice cream sandwich? Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. You want coffee? Coffee. <laughs> Gotta get my hands on a nice cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a, cof a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a little place on the corner. A cute little place on the corner. It is cute. Man, this is such this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just have better coffee at home on my couch and not have to make awkward kind eye contact with other people? This sounds like you, Brandon. At least when I when I'm home and some random guy isn't uh, at least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it, because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad! And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it on the counter? Because I don't want somewhere else to put it. Or do you leave it there, and feel your face flush with hot shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and you're now that jerk that left your mug? Dad! Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Inside the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the wall, and patrons lounge around in well-worn out couches. Well-worn in couches, in fact. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to a little stage. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hmm. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I and I suppose now it's, just, now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me th that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. So what'll it be? Huh. I scan the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed you, black coffee. Iced Tegan and Sarah. <laughs> Chai. At... Wait. At word. At word. At word. I'm sure these are references. Tegan and Sarah is a, is a band. Yeah, that one actually sounded somewhat familiar. Chai Antword. I don't know that one. And Godspeed you, Black Coffee. Yep, don't know. Don't know what that is. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's just get a... Chai Antword. Oh, they're a hip-hop group. Spicy. Oh, that's probably why I don't know them. That was supposed to be you, actually. Spicy. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. D and Word is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. The music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Uh -huh. I'm doing the thing again. Hey. But coming right up. Mm. And for you, <clears throat> I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or Biggie Smalls? Uh, medium. Ah. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, 
I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I sit at one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. <laughs> Amanda nudges me. Nudge, nudge. This place, is, this place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as comfortable, uncomfortable. with talking to other people as you are. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable with talking to people as you. I mean, uh, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, kind you of. You should works. totally become friends, friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, what did we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sits on drinks down at the table and immediately burns the roof. And I, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hey, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Cotton Candy. Hey, uh... Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hmm. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging out, hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure maybe we'll come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes to the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I <clears> think <throat> we're going to have to taste test it first if, so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, uh, you know, and really appreciate the sensations of... Uh, Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread a taste. If you want us doing free creative labor, I think that would be commensurate with the... Uh... I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chomp down. Chow down. This is amazing. Same deal. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Wow. That's why my banana bread never turns out good. Yeah. Mm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Right said banana bread. Yeah, that one I get. Banana. You don't get grateful banana bread? No, I mean, I get all three of these. Okay. The first three, I only got one of them. But, uh, banana bread candies. I do like me the dead Kennedys. Grateful banana bread. Grateful dead's pretty good. I don't like having to use the parenthesis there. Right said Fred. They were kind of a one-hit wonder. So I'm going to go with the bread Kennedys. Okay. You know, like the punk band. Hey. I thought you said you only knew dad band puns. I'm a hard dad. Huh? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah, banana bread Kennedy's. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just didn't ha <clears throat> did do just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. <clears throat> Enjoy your coffee! <clears throat> Thanks, baby. Oh. See? It sounds good when you say it. <laughs> Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey, uh... Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah. should get back to unpacking, get some fresh air, need a nap. We should probably get unpacking. Yeah. Yeah? Probably. I got a ton on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. I accidentally muted myself. 
Do I smell bad? And he takes a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. A what? What's a VN? I have no idea. Anyway. Make sure you sweep under your tent so you don't sleep on rocks. Yeah, fair enough. I get to work unpacking various boxes within the living room. A couple of hours pass and get some... Oh, visual novel. Vienna's visual novel. Oh. Uh, yes. I think there's one mini game or two in here. Um, and we get to make choices, so it's not just like... Um, you know, just following the bouncing ball. But yes, overall it's, it's basically this for the whole game. Making choices, uh, determining... It's, it's like a dating, dating simulator. Yeah. 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 Except it was made by um, made by the Game Grumps, and well, a team with the Game Grumps. Like they right. didn't make it. That's they, why Danny Sexbang and Aaron are in the. Yeah, like you could totally make them. Which yeah. Is, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, it was totally it was all them. Um, get to work on packing various boxes. A couple hours pass, and I get some good work done. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. <laughs> Hello. A handsome clean-cut man stands in my doorway brandishing a plate of cookies. Mm. Hello? Hey. Uh, you want to do this or should I? <clears throat> oh, where are my manners? I am Joseph. I am your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi, I'm Cotton Candy. <laughs> that's that's such a silly... Okay. Uh, that's what my name is. Oh. I saw your moving man and thought I'd bring over some cookies. Your moving man? My moving man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm rich enough that I have a moving man. Okay. <laughs> my daughter Christine wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, oh. but between you and me, she just sprinkled on the chocolate chips. Uh. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? All right? Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Hmm. Well, thanks for the cookies. I mean, that disappears with the cookies. <clears throat> Amanda, come b And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Ouch. Sons are also <laughs> tough. Children in general are just... Tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh, I... Uh, I mean... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met. And my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue in the cul-de-sac if you'd like to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, uh, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know, I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. I don't think that's possible. That's exactly on no, no. That's exact. <laughs> I don't know how, he, how how Mal bangs men, but when there's a door between you, it's difficult. <laughs> Unless no, there's no, a no. hole in it. No. Oh, you know what? Glory holes are totally a thing. Never mind. I stand corrected. 
with that, Joseph is gone. <laughs> he seemed nice. <laughs> Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <laughs> They're gone. I'm sorry. Yes. If it makes you feel any be better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? We just saw Joseph. <laughs> and we're gonna... S <laughs> I, okay. Let's have us fresh air. Okay. Let's hit that park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there as we drove past. Okay. Will you help me steal a dog? For the last time, I can't fit a dog into my pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. You're breaking my heart, Pops. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, the smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and the dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda's Amanda 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 spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when It's up Ow Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Rude. Oof. <laughs> A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief hanging around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Oof. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. I want an ice cream sandwich. Mm, we don't have any. We should fix that. We could fix that. <gasps> it would take you going to the store and getting us something. It'd probably be better to get Halo Top anyway. But ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, well. Uh, Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof, woof! How did you know? How long do I have left? <laughs> woof! My god, this dog knows more than he lets on. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. That one. You're traditionally not supposed to cat throw it at people's heads either. But I'm fine, thanks. Ha! Hey. Huh, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Cotton Candy. And this is my daughter, Amandy. Amandy? <laughs> I look over to Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Huh. Tummy, 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 tummy. Hi! Oh. Tummy, tummy. Your dog's cool! Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. Tummy, 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 tummy. It's nice to see... It's nice to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. You're playing with your thing. I was checking. Okay. Is the light off mean that it's... The light on meaning means it's muted. The okay. light off means it's... It's it's nice that there's a, a light. Yeah. So we can know if we're muted. Hmm. Uh, where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where there's a young girl sitting on a checkered blanket reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Ah. This is Daisy. She's reading Brothers Karmaz Karmazov. Her teacher tells me she's reading Comprehension Skills of a High Schooler. You understood that sentence. Don't tell me you didn't. How old is she? Ah. Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. 
Whoa. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Go on, Daisy, tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> Daughter, flea, item. Okay, break. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Ryan lose 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. You pull out a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad! Awesome grades. Brian loses 25. Yes! You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it's kind of weird. You lose five. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. When did he turn into, um, the other dad? What? <laughs> Nothing. You, you... Oh. Yeah. Well, I only have so many voices. Shut up. <laughs> as long as they're never in a scene together, I'm fine. <laughs> Dang, victory, my yeah. high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh. I'm winning, though. Let's see. What do I do? Drag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped with an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Haha. -ha. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda can barely get one of those sticky things. Sticky hand, sticky hand, hand things. things. Oh, sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20. Oh. I'm still winning, though. Just a little bit. What, another item? Child art. Go and throw the, the, your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing Amanda... <laughs> Of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Huh. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10. You regain 20. Ooh. Did I mention Daisy had said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh. Finishing blow. Spelling bee. Only through your phone's browser you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be the third win in a row. Yikes, you lose five. Daisy, as all of her adult teeth, never had a cavity, never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pulls her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Tied. What's daughter mean? I don't know. You can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. <laughs> oh right. In Pokemon, that's how you switch Pokemon. Right. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. I could. I don't know what. Oh, I know what that is. I want to go back. You can't. That's not it. Too I can't bad. go back. Oh, that's that's useless. With a flourish, you produce a bandaid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Anyone would agree it's an unusual gesture, but you would lose 10 HP. Words aren't all... Words aren't all Daisy's good at, by the way. Her math is amazing. One time I actually called her to double-check my numbers before I made a cut for a support beam. You did that more than once, Dad. Doesn't that Doesn't... say more about him than it does about Daisy, still? Still. You lose 10 HP. That's it. Dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ark, did I have to add insult to injury by being such a gr did he have to in add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Nah, it's like almost a tongue twister. Words Jeez. are hard. It's yeah. okay. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. Uh. What a coincidence! That's where we live too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. <laughs> Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. 
Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. You get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us. Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding! I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in competitive horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse competitive writing. Uh, what? Horse creative writing. There you go. You could, courses could compete in their writing skills. You don't know. I'm pretty sure. Well. Too close to the truth, Dad. Aww. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Dandy. <laughs> We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Nap time. It's nice when there's only one option. To take a nap. All the sunlight is making me feel tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Exactly. See, I told you I get it from you. As we're walking home, we hear heavy footsteps coming up behind us. Cotton candy, bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro. Bro? Hmm. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Ha, hey. ah, yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me. You're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Nice. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, that, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with a bad hangover, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Hmm. I was working out in California and relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Huh. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's old news. We take turns now taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Oh. Ain't life something, bro? Yeah, right? Kegstand Craig, the father of three. Mm. Kegstand Craig? Mm. Oh, yeah, it was my old college nickname. You got it because they did a lot of keg stands. Mm -hmm. That's the thing where you do a handstand and a keg and then drink from that keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ha, mm. ah, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog. I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promise I'm going to do a daily jog for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Eh, I don't know. Bro. Come on, it'd be fun. We grab breakfast afterwards, catch up, do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great, let's get going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. Can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm? Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including himself. Especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a normal thing people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. 
I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Huh. He's, like, he's like a totally different person. Amanda. Anyway, we better get going home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Huh. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Oh, of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. All right. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. No big deal. Ah. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda's ours. eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we? Um. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan School of Art and Design. Aww. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Aww. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admiss admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you worked on your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine. Really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Eh? Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So, you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. What do you think? Isla. No marinara for dinner. Um, that. go clubbing. Oh yeah, sure. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and tear up the dance floor. All the hottest moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know, all the ones that the kids these days are doing. Alright, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... I suppose... Game? Nice. Huh? Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. The game. On TV at somewhere other than here. Eh? Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do gr drugs and commit some light arson with with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. <laughs> I would've expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Maybe one money laundering at, at the least. Nah. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? <sighs> Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. Yeah. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Aww. No, making fun of sports is played out. Huh. Alright then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Huh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right. Mr. Vega. 
Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Please remember to call us once in a while. Yeah. Wow, I guess I really didn't plan this through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, so I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in. Let's go this way. I should probably save. Yeah. <sighs> you know, we've been streaming for another hour and or so. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe a good time to quit for the day. We've been streaming for what? Almost three and a half hours now? Mm, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, a good chunk of that at the beginning, the first 15 minutes, was getting audio set up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's, we'll know for next time. It's definitely the mayor. Yeah. But nonetheless, there we are. Yep. Uh, it's probably good enough. Yeah, and we'll, come, we'll, we'll do some more next week. Yeah, yeah, probably next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We're probably gonna we're gonna try to make it a re regular Wednesday thing. Um, four viewers. I only mm. see two on this end. I don't know why. I don't quite understand the analytics on this side. On our side, it just says two, and I see a whole list of users that have popped in at one time or another. Yeah. But I don't. I can't tell who's here at the current time. Wait a minute. Brianna's gone. Maybe those are current users. Hmm. I do not understand. Yeah. Well, in any case, whatever the case is, we've been streaming for three and a half hours, so we're done for the day. But we will be around next Wednesday as well. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the Wednesday after that, and hopefully an ongoing thing. Next Wednesday, we'll go ahead and Wait. play more Dream Daddy. What's the date next Wednesday? What's the date? Yeah. I don't know. It's not my department. Uh, next Wednesday is the 29th. Yeah, nothing okay. on the calendar. Okay, so it'll be the week after that. That's our regular game night. Oh, that's right. We won't be able to stream on regular game night. On regular game night, uh, we might switch it to Tuesday or Thursday. Okay. But nonetheless, the uh, best way to know when we're streaming, if you're interested, is to... What is it called on Twitch? I'm so used to YouTube. Uh, so follow? Stream. Oh, yeah. Follow our channel, or follow our thing, whatever. Yeah. If you're interested. Uh, if not... It was nice having you here for this one. That's the one. Okay, well. See you guys next week. Yeah, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.